Um... Is that, that's a meme. That's about as meme as I get. In the 21st century, the media is everywhere. It is on our phones, our computers, in our hands and everywhere we look. It provides and controls our news, our communications and our interactions. The rise of social media over the last decade means you can send a message to someone on the other side of the world and get a response in seconds. 2016 was a very important year in the news, with the election of US President Donald Trump, Britain's votes to leave the EU, and just enough memes to get us through it all. To get an educated, thoughtful and interesting perspective on today's media, we visited Hollingworth Academy to talk to well-respected media studies expert, Chris Dobbs. Well, I think that it would be difficult not to say that um, the presidential election of, uh, of Trump, that has to be the biggest news story. Hard, uh, possibly, possibly Brexit, but I think the, the election of, of, of Trump has to be the biggest single event that's uh, certainly occupied my mind. And the reporting, well that's interesting, the reporting. Um, so I won't digress and talk about filter bubble. lot of misinformation and disinformation and I suppose it depends on what type of media you listen or watch. It depends on how you've had the information presented to you. Certainly I've, I've tried to read it around and it's fairly unanimous that the, uh, the whole Trump story is a, a catastrophe. How do you feel that religion is being presented in the media at the moment, especially with the uprising of ISIS and Islamophobia in the UK? The Islamic State or the so-called Islamic State, I, I, have, I have mixed feelings and I suppose it goes back to the fact that minority groups are under and misrepresented and as much as the media polarise the argument, they spread hate and divide two sides uh, and it comes back to this idea of filter bubble that if we only know about what we think we know about and we only look for what we think we know then we're never going to get two sides of an argument and the media is responsible for creating that, that schism that, that gap between the two sides but in, in, in general I suppose the question could be asked does the media represent any minority group uh, with um, full um, equality and, and I would argue no and people who are disabled, people who are who have mental illness, that they're, they're again misrepresented and underrepresented often in the media. Describe what Trump is to you in five words or less and why. Ridiculous orange serpent <laughs> with an overcoat. Well that was a six that's six. Okay. Uh, I think the man is an awful parody of a human being and I think that what he represents and the people who support him are potentially very dangerous to the world peace. What's the biggest problem with the media in the 21st century? We are the biggest problem to the media. The way we use it and the way we don't perhaps um, sort of discipline ourselves with the use of the media. The media is a tool and it's up to yeah, some people using the tool in the correct way. Uh, the media can give us what we want or it can prevent us from seeing a, a more balanced view of the world. So I think it's, it's us. The social media is, I think, as a teacher, something which uh, we worry about, the way it can be abused. Um, but again, it comes down to self-regulation. So my greatest influence in media, well, I suppose I'd come back to my, my favourite film director. So I'd come back to Hitchcock. And he, he, I still watch his films every time I watch Psycho, I see something new. So he's been an inspiration to, you know, to me. But as for tomorrow, it might be changed. Are you familiar with meme culture? I am not familiar with meme culture. Please explain meme culture. Could you ask a question? Does the fact that I don't know much about meme culture, if anything, does that not show how sometimes the media separates 
different audiences. Mm. So perhaps the paradox is that media often can separate the same way that you'd have your private conversations with your friends and wouldn't want the adult culture to know what's going on. Mm. Maybe meme culture does that.